folks, it's Ross here from Acts on This and I want to create a quick video for you now because I want to talk about something that I'm seeing more and more in the acting industry that I think people need to address because um, it's just not ideal basically when you are an actor promoting your show reel. Um, if you don't think of a couple of things that are really going to help you get clicks on that show reel and make people more compelled to actually click play you know on your video so what i've done is i let me just go over to youtube which is here i've just uploaded the 2017 cut of my show reel um, to youtube you can see it here it's already uh, uploaded and all is good if i click into the edit section here um You'll see one major problem though, all right? It's my show reel, but YouTube chooses at random three different places to offer you thumbnails, okay? For the thumbnail is the image that you see behind the play button, okay? And you'll see here that the show reel thumbnail for me is actually not of me. It's of an actor called Adam Long there on the right, and then you've got um, BAFTA nominated Ruth Madeley on the left there as well in the background. Now, that's all well and good, but it's my show reel, okay? It's not their show reel. So what you'll see is on the right here, you'll see these three thumbnails um, that YouTube offer me. Now, there is actually one that is suitable at the top there, which is an image of me in the opening scene of my show reel and I might go okay well that's good enough I'll just have that as my uh, you know as my thumbnail I can click save changes um, and it will then save that image for me wherever the show reel is embedded because if I go over to act on this for instance and I've done an article here on fair use um, and YouTube as well fair use is basically a doctrine that looks after you if you upload copyrighted material to YouTube that you're actually in. Okay, so normally if you upload your copyright material to YouTube, they might make a copyright claim on that if it was Channel 4 or Hollyoaks or, you know, all these kind of shows you might be in. Uh, that's what happened to me. I was in Hollyoaks. I uploaded it and then Channel 4 made a claim on the copyright. It happens automatically. It's an algorithm that YouTube runs, so you might find this happening. And then you can actually dispute it. And I've done an article here about exactly how you dispute it so that you can, uh, you know, you can have that up there and it's all perfectly legal and good. So this is the uh, my reel um, embedded on the site with that old thumbnail on. If I refresh, hopefully YouTube will have updated it. So it will now reflect the, yeah, there you go, the new thumbnail. Um, so it is of me, but it's not exactly, you know, particularly flattering image. Um, and I think it, it's, you know, it's not compelling at all, is it? It just says Ross Grant show reel. And then it's just not, it's just not a great image. I wouldn't want to, um, you know, click on that if I was looking. So what I want to do is show you how you can change that thumbnail into something much more compelling very easily without any knowledge of graphic design or all of these things that people will you know limit themselves with by saying oh well i don't know how to use photoshop so how would i ever make anything nice i'm going to show you guys it's so simple and it's with a tool called canva i'm going to go over to canva.com now it's a completely free tool you can get a um an account for free um, at canva.com and this is effectively like an online version of a photoshop style graphic editing tool that's going to enable you to create really compelling graphics for your thumbnail designs on YouTube very, very easily. So if we scroll down, you'll see all these types of designs that you've got available for you. Um, but then under social media and email headers here, you'll see this thumbnail. It says YouTube thumbnail. So I'm just going to click on that. And what it's going to do is going to take me through to show me all the different designs they have already pre-done for YouTube thumbnails. Now, you'll see some awesome looking stuff here. I personally like very simple flat design clean line so i'm looking for something now and i'll just do a you know we'll do a mock-up now and um, so i can show you how uh how simple um this process is so let's have a look if there's any that stand out for me as a nice simple flat design something like that um would be suitable i think let's have a look um so that i mean that's super super um you know, simple flat design. I don't need um, this thing in the bottom here, so I'm just going to uh, delete that by clicking on the bin icon at the top there. So that's gone. Don't need that writing either. Click on that. I like this kind of stuff. So all I'm going to write here, guys. I mean, this is just super simple. You can spend more time on this, um, but I'll just delete the. Uh, I'll just delete this text. We'll just go Ross Grant. Showreel 2017 
Um, probably going to make that text white. I just highlight it and just click up here. Okay, I want to make it white. Um, so that's good. I'm just going to reposition it ever so slightly. And obviously, we don't need a picture of a rock climber. I need a picture of me. So what I've done is I just click on uh, this image and I'm going to replace it with one of my uploads. So in the left-hand side here, I've just uploaded a few pictures that I've had taken over the years. Um, so I want a picture of me on the right-hand side of the image. Um, so this one might be suitable. I mean, look, I drag that in. It's really effectively, I mean, that's that's already just done it for me, hasn't it? I mean, there's not really m much I need to change about this. I might want to um, just change the size of the image a little bit by dragging the handles up and just reposition uh, me a little bit like so. Uh, I can put filters on this. It's put a black and white filter on, but if I click filter, um, you can see all these different kind of filters that I could add to this. So if I wanted to bring the color back in, um, I could do. Um, you can change the intensity of these up and down, depending on uh, on how intense you want the effect. If we want to just go back to something very simple like the black and white one, I mean, if I just select black and white, um, I can move that around a little bit. Or maybe we just have a little bit of color like that. Um, and effectively, I mean, that's you know, it's miles more compelling. If I want to then download that, all I do, I click on download at the top. Um, it asks me what uh, format I want to download it in PNG is absolutely fine. So I just click download. It saves the image for me. It's saying now on the screen, hold tight, preparing your design. And it will download it in a super high resolution as well, guys. So when, you, when you're editing it as in the web browser, it's not particularly high res, so you might have thought then, oh, well, you know, it might be a little bit blurry, that image. It's only so you can work with it very easily. That's now downloaded directly to my computer. So what I can do now, let's just go back over to YouTube, and I click on Custom Thumbnail here. That's now brought up a box asking me um, where my custom thumbnail is. I can then just find where it's downloaded it, um, on my computer for me, and I just click choose. That's uploaded into YouTube now. I click save changes. That's saving those changes. And then let's have a look if I go back to, where's you, where's, here we go, this is the embed from before, isn't it? I'll just refresh the page. And there you go. Miles more compelling, isn't it? Just looks so much more clickable. I go, oh, right, okay, yeah, I'll check that out. I'll click on the showreel. And um, and there you go, the showreel's, um, you know, the showreel's playing. It's just so easy, and it's going to be so much better for you and your reel, guys. You're going to get so many more clicks if you use a tool like Canva. So if you've never used Photoshop or anything like that, don't be intimidated. This is super, super easy to do. Um, I'll go back into my design now. Um, and I mean, let's just change the text up to show you how easy this is. Let's just delete this text. I've basically just clicked on it and then I just click the, uh, the bin icon in the top there and that text is gone. I can click on the text icon in the left hand column there. Look at all this cool looking text it brings up for me. Um, and for me to use this, I mean, let's just grab this. All you do is click one and I'm just dragging it onto my image. So I might go, okay, well, I just want to have here, uh, what should we have in the, in the top? So I might make this top text, um, if I can spell, show real 2017. Uh, that's going to be my surname. That's going to be my first name. Again, if I can type properly. Um, and then I go, okay, right, I might want to expand this out. Let's make it a bit bigger. So um, I'm just going to move it first. Um, and now let's see if I can just make this a bit bigger. Let's just position it up there. And I don't know, let's just change the color. Let's just go for some different color here. What should we have? Um, I don't know, like a, a, a bit of red. Change that to red as well. Uh, what else have we got? Any kind of like shapes or... Because there's lots of different shapes as well. I can click on elements. And I can select all kinds of things here. Um, 
so the shapes, um, lines. Let's just see what we've got here. Just bring anything in. Maybe shorten that off a little bit. Maybe we should just move it down a little bit, move that down a little bit. I mean, I'm just playing around, literally, guys. I'm just, you know, playing about. And then I just click, right, download. Download that as a PNG. That's now saving my file. We might as well, just to show you again how easy uh, this is to do. That's just exporting out. And um, I'm then going to... I'll upload that to YouTube again and just show you how simple this entire process is. Uh, but you should be doing this because if you let YouTube select your own thumbnail and Vimeo or wherever else you're uploading your reel to, if you're letting it select your thumbnail for you, it's just selecting anything um, at random. So that's just downloading now. I just click change image on here um, and I'm going to select what we just did. That's then going to upload... I select save changes. Now I don't know if this is going to be reflected on the website straight away because sometimes it takes a few minutes for it to actually push through. So this might show the original one that we just uploaded. Yeah, see how it shows the uh, the original one there. It might not show the um, the new one for a little minute. But if I go into YouTube and I just check in my creator account here, you can see there it's got the new uh, the new thumbnail on it. Um, so it will, within a few minutes, you know, push that out um, to other, you know, to other sites, so that everybody is seeing the new thumbnail. Um, but yeah, it's super simple. You know, if I wanted to change that to black and white again, you know, get rid of the uh, the slight amount of colour that we've got, um, we just go complete black and white on it. Um, that's a different look. It's just so very, very easy to change your style from something that's not compelling whatsoever to something that suddenly is much more compelling Let's see if it's pushed through yet no it's not i wonder if i uh clear my cookies on here if it's going to uh if it's going to reflect the change that we just made No, YouTube's just being a little bit stubborn, um, but it will do eventually. That will uh, it'll push the new change out for us. Um, but you can see just how easy it is, guys. It's Canva.com, and um, you can select all kinds of things from Facebook headers to Instagram designs. Um, absolutely anything and everything is available on here, completely for free. I think there is a premium side of it where you can uh, you can upgrade um, to design some uh, some more premium stuff, but. You know what we just uh, designed there is um, is absolutely ample, isn't it? It's so much more compelling um, than what there was there. Um, you know, initially, it's much nicer um, than what we initially had. And there you go, just in time, it's now pushed it out. So you know, that's another different look. Um, Showreel 2017 and my name makes you want to click it. Makes you want to click it way more than that original one. And um, so I hope this has been useful. Um, let me know on Twitter if it has at Ross A. Grant or at Act on This TV. Um, and yeah, I look forward to seeing your designs, seeing um, you know what it is that you come up with um, very soon. So keep me in the loop and uh, I hope you get lots more clicks. All right, I'll speak to you soon.